welcome back to my youtube channel called Birai Shampi. Today in this video we learn how to download the DBMS project from github and how to run that project. The basic software we need is XAMPP. At first we should go for the google and ask for the google Azure. <laughs> I mean google to go to the github. Just to type github.com it will take you to the github page just type github.com and i have selected library management system project to run the to run in xamp and just type library management system in the search bar sorry library management system and you will get plenty of project just click on the first project and the main thing you should see that dot sql file is present or not here the the project containing the dot sql then you're almost done because it contains the database name if a project contains an .sql then only you should download the project if not skip that project and click on the download button and the complete project will be in the zip file and there is no need to sign in or sign up after the download you should extract that zip file i think the download has been successfully completed then go to the download option see it has been downloaded the main thing is that the zip file which you will extract that must be in HD docs just copy this zip file and go to PC and C drive XAMPP and HD docs just paste it here okay after the pasting just you should extract that file extract here the file has been successfully extracted just rename that file library one okay after the extracting the file just start the apache and mysql server and go to the google and type localhost colon your port number slash php my admin now i am starting the apache and mysql server just go to xamp you should start apache and mysql server now go to the google and type localhost colon your port number and along with slash php my admin and just press enter and this part is more important you should look carefully that is you should click on the new okay it was asking for the database name 
you should give the database name that the database name will be in the dot sql file which you which you have extracted the project and go to the project library one see you should search for the database name after you search for the database name see the database name is library just copy this name and paste it over here now create that database the library database has been successfully created now you should import the complete project and you should uh, okay you should press import button and you should select the file that is there is an option called choose a file and you may get confused that which file should be chosen <laughs> nothing to worry about that just click on choose a file now c drive zamp htdocs library that means your project name and mysql database next open next directly go to go you should get a pop-up message that the import has been successfully finished then only your project is set up okay till this you're almost done with that with your project now go to new tab just type localhost colon your port number slash that project name just press enter then your project will run by this you can download a pen plenty of project from github and if you enjoy this video please click on the like button and subscribe my channel this will help my channel to grow and i will see you in upcoming videos thank you guys for watching this video